see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the Vilar King for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction. The trolls, the corpse-eaters, the werewolves. Did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh is the time of madness and disdain. Damn. Toss a coin to your witcher. Oh, valley of plenty. Oh, valley of plenty. Oh. Toss a coin to your witcher. A friend of humanity. Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with the first episode of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Now, as I mentioned before, I have never really touched this game. Uh, I have never been able to really put money into it until fairly recently. And now, um, it's mainly been I've been putting it off because I wanted to record it. Because it seemed like an excellent opportunity to give my first impressions on a game that is very beloved by people. Um, just because of how well designed, how well written the game is. So uh, I'm going to take a second to check in the options, see that everything's the way I want it. And then we will get right into it.
All right, I think that's as good as it's going to get without actually knowing how the volume is going to be. I think all the subtitles are already turned on. Uh, whoops. Uh, that's not going to show there. Um, that's not going to show there either. I'm assuming, I'm assuming subtitles are on. Yes, okay, cool. So other than that, we are good to go. Let's get into it. Fresh start. Start a brand new game of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt with any DLC expansions included. If you're happy to be challenged, enjoy a smooth ride, blood and broken bones, and death march. You're truly insane and loving it. Well, that's a way to look at it. And... Uh, just so I end up enjoying it, mainly because I've never really, you know, done one of these in a while, and I'm a little rusty, uh, because I'm assuming this is going to be a, uh, somewhat, uh, character action, uh, RPG, in a way. Uh, I'm just going to do, uh, sword, uh, story and sword for now. Yeah, I'll need the tutorials. Simulate Witcher 2 save. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. I didn't even know that there was an option to have the Witcher 2 save pass over. Oh, that's a cool transition. That was a cool transition. Holy fuck. 
Witcher Keep, Banks of the Gwenluck. Well, that's the head's a shot. Um, uh, you know, I don't find that amusing. I mean Okay, well It wasn't meant to amuse but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. <sighs> well you then. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. Good thing I'm not streaming this. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. Alrighty then. Yep. Yeah, of course the eye is drawn there. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Every every chance you get, just throw it into the shot. Alrighty, thank God. I was I was gonna start getting a little nervous. Oh, I have control now? Okay. This tutorial will introduce the game's core elements. Each message will be saved in the glossary, where you'll also find detailed information about world lore and gameplay mechanics. Okay. Fair enough. Mm. Yawning, I apologize. The mini-map in the upper right-hand corner of your display shows your current location in the surrounding area. Yeah, I noticed that. Underneath, you'll find the objectives for your an active quest. Hmm. Give me just a second. I had thought that uh, my cough syrup before recording would help a little bit. Apparently not. And, of course, she's just sitting there, getting all prettied up. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. I don't want to be reasonable. Aha, uh -huh. so that's the way the wind blows. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Aww. That was mildly cute. And mildly weird. Okay. Hold to use your Witcher sense. Uh, apparently I can't do that thing now. Okay. I was using the other thing. Shit. Mountain Pass is beautiful as ever. Yeah, it definitely looks it. That is a beautiful shot. For highlighted objects, huh? Hmm. Oh, running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Yeah, I could do that. And I'm assuming, yep. To unlock locked doors, walk up to them and press A. Well, I mean that seems pretty self-explanatory there. Alrighty. And there we go. Unlocked. Open them up. 
and we're good. Probably going to overuse this a little too much. Old witch is fast asleep. Series disappeared somewhere, of course. Of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm. What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring yeah. our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Yeah, that's Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Fair enough. Wrong. Oh, oh. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Extended. Nice catch. You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? Yes. All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. Yeah, well... I know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Sorry's not good enough. You're gonna read Ghouls and Al Ghouls in its entirety, appendices included. No, please. I'd rather clean the stables. <laughs> End of discussion. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Sure. Of course. This a Witcher school or an Elven bathhouse? To the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Oopsie, okay. Okay, it's not wanting to... There we go. It was not wanting to let me climb it. Oh, I see, there we go. That's what I'm doing wrong. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Siri, cut it out. I mean, you kind of asked for that after, you know, comments like that. Whoopsie do. That was a mild mistake. Just mild. Whoop. There we go. Much better. 
Whee! I win. Ha! Nice excuse. Sure. Okay. There we go. Nice little tutorial. And a nice little foot race. Hmm. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Mm. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Well, I mean... Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me. Lambert with Eskel. Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Uh, let's review the fundamentals because I... Yeah, let's start with the fundamentals because I don't know. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals. And Ciri's barely a novice. Decent sword there. Basic, but sword, basic Garrett. works. Ah, there we go. Witchers must be prepared. Prepared. Blah. Talking is fun and easy for normal people. I'm not a normal people. Must be prepared to fight foes of all kinds, be they plate-clad knights, ethereal wraiths, or bone-crushing giants. To match the strengths and exploit the weaknesses of different ex enemies. <sighs> Witchers need to use a variety of weapons and combat techniques. The core tools of their trade are their swords. One steel for fighting humans and non-humans. The other silver for slaying monsters. Witchers have also mastered a simple form of combat magic. These signs are not as powerful as the spells wielded by mages, but they can be cast very quickly. With simple one-handed gestures, making them quite useful in the heat of combat. Witchers are also adept in basic alchemy. They can brew powerful potions, blade oils, and bombs, all of which give them a keen advantage when fighting stronger or faster foes. Oops. Okay. To select or deselect a target. When you have a target selected, all your attacks are directed towards it. You don't have to select a target during combat, but doing so can help you focus on a specific enemy. All right. Quick cut. Ah, I see. Not a fast attack. Give it all you got. Never lock your elbow when striking, young lady. Position Siri. Footwork. Remember. Come on, Vesemir. Oh, it gives me a pause just so I actually hit it. Okay. To roll. Okay. Choose the direction and press A. Alrighty. Now it's going to make me do that over and over, huh? Harry. Alright. Okay, that was the other one. I keep screwing up my directions. Pretend 
now, live later. Exactly. Good point. Repost. Strike. Counter strike. Press just before the opponent strikes to perform a counter attack. There we go. Maybe a storm's coming. There we go. Now I'm getting the hang of it. Mainly because it's giving me as many opportunities to get the hang of it. Now, young lady, to bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches' signs. Let's start with Quen. Alright. Select Quen. There we go. I'm too old for this shit. Well, you know. Siri, Quen is sometimes called the witch's shield. Now watch carefully to see why. 64%. Okay. Protects you against damage and certain critical effects. That's Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. Alrighty. You asked for it. Oops. It helps if you actually select the stupid thing. Did... Stop showing off, Geralt. It doesn't seem to want to let me, for some reason. Uh... Because I wasn't hitting it in the right direction. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Hey, if not for the Quen sign, I'd be a flame by now. Hmm. All right, Geralt. Come on. All right. Now we're actually in a proper... Whoop, oh, jeez. All right. Okay. Damn it. What blazes are you doing? Um Oh, art. Okay. That was what the problem was. See that, Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything off the Time for balance. Axie. Yes. I hate this feeling. I'm sure you do. And cast the active sign at him. Axie can really muddle you. Temporarily disorient your opponents, Erdin okay? Now. Show her, Geralt. Yerdin. Oh, geez, okay. See this, Siri? Couldn't move if I wanted to. There we go. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quen will tap on the blow. Okay, throwing a bomb now. All right. Highlighted training posts. Okay. Oh, I can aim it. There we go. That worked. Combat tutorial is now over. If you want, you can continue training with Vesemir. To stop training, simply sheathe your sword. Fine. Enough. Continue training at will. Oh jeez. Come on. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Come on. Oh jeez. Fuck! I am not prepared for any of this. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I was not prepared for the block. Alright. Um. There we go. Okay, I keep... I keep... Poorly timing it with the shield. Oh, jeez. Okay. I should have known. I should have known better. There we go. Shut up and fight. Oh, jeez. Ow. Okay. Okay. I think I'm done. 
Oh, jeez. Okay, I, I said I'm done. I'm trying to sheath. Jesus. Let me sheath. Well. Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. Well, she has to get the helmet. <laughs> A little she devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. She's taken a bit. Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. was a turn. Whew. It was all a dream. To marry a road to Vizima. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? Take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub, and next to me... Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Hmm. <laughs> True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Siri. And then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. The wild hunt appeared, attacked Siri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be downing soon. Time to go. Yep. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. We're gonna read it, not sniff it. <laughs> That's at least what we you must said. must meet. Soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. Yeah. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. Certain. 
situations. <laughs> the things young folk get up to these days. Oh, oh, shut up, old man. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Hmm. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Okay. Ghouls, yay. Whatever that's supposed to be. Life on the continent and in the Skilligi Isles, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it, is nasty, brutish, and short. War lays waste to the land, and those it spares live in fear of the countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown with a silver health bar above their heads, indicating that you should fight them with your silver sword. Oh, geez. Okay, well. Got one of them in here. There we go. Okay, I'm... Oh, jeez. Come on. There we go. Ow. Fuck you. Cool. Whew. Adrenaline points. That's a new bar. At least I don't remember it in The, uh, the Witcher 2. Maybe it was there and I'm just not remembering properly. That's more likely than not. Striking opponents generates adrenaline points. Certain abilities you can acquire allow you to perform special attacks that require and consume adrenaline points. Your adrenaline points slowly decline when you are not engaged in combat. Fair enough. Of course. When armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Sounds good. Huh. You can regenerate vitality by eating or drinking, or by meditating for at least one hour. Well... Playing on the Blood and Broken Bones and Death March difficulty levels, meditation does not regenerate vitality. So, at least you note that in certain game modes, that's no longer an option. That's good. Food and drink can be placed in your consumable slots for quick use during combat. Press up or down to consume them and regenerate vitality. You have some food equipped in your upper consumable slot. Press now to eat it and regenerate a portion of your vitality. Okay. Yay! Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Hmm. Witchers spend most of their time on the road in search of their next contract. They must trek across wide valleys, climb over high mountain peaks, and trudge through thick bogs. Luckily, Geralt can always count on his horse Roach to help him in his travels. To have Roach come to you, double press on the left stick. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Mm. Mm. Did you know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him, too. His theory collapsed. Oh, so he, his pace matches mine. Okay. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edern are no more. Radovid's pledge to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. stamina okay all right well i just passed by him you know he was kind of leading the way sometime later we going help me help uh -oh. well that horse is gone.
but that didn't look good for Vesemir. Yep. Has it gone? Yeah, yeah, but it took your horse Come with out. it. That's a luck. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it alive, piece by piece. Oh. Yeah, you got really lucky then, bud. You'd, you'd like a reward, I suppose. Then we can. Could always use a few crowns. Thing is, I've a meager purse at the moment. Nilf Guardians requisitioned my goods. Now this. Here. I appreciate it. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No, but there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Not a bad idea, especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. I'm nice sure you could. Cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Uh -huh. Let's go. Yep, not surprised. All right. A new entry has been added to the bestiary. Can I talk to him again? Greetings. Oh. Technically, yes, but not anything special on it. Hold A without steering to automatically follow its go, path. Go. Okay, that's only if you're on a road, though. Alright, so, fair. A griffin this close to the village. Strange. My yeah, a little bit. Exactly. In the forest of the mountain, sure, but here, near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, mm. too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Fair enough. You're nearing a village. Don't disturb the peace. Remember, town guards and hired watchmen won't tolerate theft and also won't look kindly on you accosting others. Local residents often erect notice boards near settlements such as villages and cities. These are marked on your map. Examine them to learn about contracts, work for witchers, and local happenings. Hey, Sorry. Oh, shut up. Oh, come on, guy. Jesus. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms. The Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. Uh oh. What? Witches. Uh oh. They immediately recognize us. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. I beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Yeah, more or less. Armies just pass through. 
Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Right way for a hunter to put it. Clawed Lena so bad, poor thing's one foot in the grave. It's no good to wallow in misfortune. No, it doesn't. How can I be a service? With a drop of vodka for me. Would Not you? surprised. Something to wet your tongue. Options marked will open uh, the shop panel. Okay, fair enough. Is there a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection or go to the lord for help. Now mm. the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And as soon as they hanged the lord, so no contract. Shame. Unfortunate. We might have done something, but not for free. Hmm. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin. Others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest and warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Fair enough point. Uh, at this, well, we'll we'll do some trading later. Right now, we haven't really got anything special to actually worry about. Looking for a woman, raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Shut Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Hmm. Dialogue options marked X will end the conversation. Okay. Thanks for everything. He's off to drink. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Of course. Here, Black One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Now they're Give it to their own. Hmm. Interesting thought. Alrighty. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode here for right now. I am very interested in continuing this. This is very fun so far. Um, I am not good on the combat, but then again, I'm not surprised on that. Uh, I was barely passable when I played The Witcher 2. And that was forever ago. So right now, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be sucking until I get the hang of it. But uh, for now, we're just going to end the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. I stream on Twitch from... 1.30 p.m. to whenever I feel like ending Pacific Standard Time on Wednesdays and Thursdays, usually. Uh, depending on the schedule that I have at work, it might change up a little bit. But generally, those are the days that I try to get some streaming in. Uh, that's in the link in the description below. Patreon links in the description below if you feel like you want to help out. Don't feel like it's an obligation. Just letting you know it's there. And I will see y'all in the next episode. It's been the one the only stray cat playing games, hunting down monsters a little bit, kind of more running into them than anything, and trying to discover more info about Yennefer for you.